How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Terra Fancy video. Yes, you're hearing my voice yet again. I can finally speak and make a sentence without having to cough my guts out. So with that said, we have another round of leaks that are quite interesting. We have two characters that are appearing localized within the actual 2.0 beta. We have Fenrir, as you can see on screen right now, and right next to her, Alice. Obviously, we all know about Alice because she is the latest character to have been released on the CN version of the game, but Fenrir I've not seen much about, so this may be a new character. Of course, there is no mention of Annabelle in the translated files for the beta 2.0, but there is in CN. So is Annabelle a CN only character? I don't think so. I never read anything like that, but it's something to keep an eye on. But we do have other news. We have a battle royale. Now, I know this has been rumored for some time and there's been talks of it for a while, but we finally have screenshots of it. This is unlikely to appear in 2.0 and this is probably gonna appear maybe in 2.1, 2.2, or maybe even 2.3. But we have what you can see here, a solo breakout version of the Battle Royale and also a team breakout. I'm kind of excited for this. It's something new. I just hope the PvP actually works and the meta isn't going to ruin it because that is always a possibility. We can see here it's a Season S2. So I'm going to guess that this is already available in China and it's just something that we won't be seeing for a while. Now, as you can see here for the basic rules for the battle royale, up to 48 players per game, only eight random weapons and eight relics will be made available each game. There will be an irradiated wall that basically expands over time as your usual stuff. Last man standing wins. So it's not a 99 player thing, but it is a 48 player thing. And I guess maybe if you're playing in duos and groups, that's going to go higher and the reward is a staggering 800 crystal now, i'm not sure if this is for every win if it is cheating is going to go through the roof i can bet your bottom dollar on that but if it is a one-off weekly reward then at least it gives people a better chance of winning this reward because most people that have completed it once won't drop back in because there's no reward we also have what looks like a mobile view for a weapons gallery it has also the relics as well in the top right hand corner as you can see over there it has the skills and you can switch between the skill and the passive you've got normal dodge skill discharge it just looks like a much easier in your face layout of what each weapon can do in terms of their base stats now this obviously does look mobile but it could be what we're going to get on desktop either way i think it's a nice addition to the game now we also have a very very early version with a massive subject to change tag uh, basically this is just a CN version on global for now and as you can see you have some English text that's been changed from the Chinese and I believe what they're doing is localizing it first and then gonna make adjustments later but it's good to see that Saki is definitely uh, on the way to coming I don't see her coming next for sure because it's just still too way too early but that's it let me know in the comment section below what you think uh, let's have that discussion. Yes, I am still bunged up, but I am feeling a hell of a lot better and it's good to be back making these videos. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that discussion and hopefully I'll have more videos for you later on this evening or tomorrow. Right, as always, stay safe and remain legend. God, it feels good to say that again.